Okay, so I used to have this theory. This is a totally true story, by the way. I used to have this theory. Okay, let me back up. I used to be the biggest Lord of the Rings fan ever. I mean, like ever, like level 10 geek stuff here. I was on like the, the forums of the fan websites. My, my username was Lady Asphaloth because Asphaloth was the name of Arwen's horse. Who knows that? I'm not kidding you. I used to submit like fan art, like wallpapers. I was very lonely. Okay, so back then the movies had just come out, obviously enormously successful, and everyone was just crapping their jammies for all things Middle Earth. And we on the fan sites were like, oh, is there any new, is there any news of Peter Jackson creating The Hobbit? I heard Dominic Monaghan mention in the audio commentary of the extended version DVD that uh, Peter Jackson really wanted to make a Hobbit movie. That was me like typing to the other people on the fan site. You got that. So obviously knowing everything about Lord of the Rings, I knew that Elijah Wood had gotten the role of Frodo by making his own audition tape. He freaking like dressed up like a hobbit and went out in the woods somewhere and filmed Frodo scenes and uh, he got the role by doing that. So as an actor in my brain, I'm like, okay, here's the deal. Uh, I have to be in The Hobbit. When they make that movie, I have to be in it. There's no not being in it. Hey, but there's th there's no girls in The Hobbit book. Yeah, I know that there's no females, but it's, it's going to be a Hollywood movie. So they're going to have to add females. They're going to have to create a female character. And that's gotta be me. So what did I do? I got my buddy Brooks. He, uh, he's like my photographer slave at this point. He's been taking pictures of me since I was like 14. Oh yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, just like that, beautiful. Damn it, Kevin. Like uh, pretty much every professional photo that I've ever posted is by Brooks. We've done photo shoots in 2005, 2006, 2008, 2011, 2013, 2015, 2016. But uh, anyway, back to my story. So I got Brooks to take photos of me as an elf with a sword so that I could give them to Peter Jackson and he'd be like, holy shit, we have to put this girl in the Hobbit movies. So obviously I never sent Peter Jackson the photos and everybody called me crazy, but lo and behold, he makes the Hobbit trilogy and they add a female character who's what? A redheaded elf. Did I, did I not call it? Did I not, did I not call it? So yeah, that should have been me. I should have stuck to my quest, like Frodo and Sam stuck to their quest. Actually, Frodo gave up on the quest like several times, but that's really, he is here nor there. So because my Hobbit dreams never came true, in hindsight, I basically just forced Brooks to take a bunch of fucking dorky pictures of me Dressed up like an elf. Look at, look at, in this one, I'm, I'm touching the blade. I have clearly never held a sword before this moment. But I wish I could say those are the only dorky photos of me. A couple days ago, I posted this gem to Instagram. Hey, why the, why the cowboy hat and the jean jacket? Are you at an outdoor country music festival? No, no you're not. Take off the fucking Bono glasses and your rhinestone earrings. Too much going on, way too much. So after I posted that, my buddy Stu was like, you need to do a video just destroying old photos of yourself. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do red carpet photos because those are the pictures that really just live forever on the internet and come up when you search my name and there's just, there's no escaping them. Okay, let's start with this drapey pantsuit. This is what I imagine Hillary Clinton would wear to prom. It's like, oh, I want to be pretty and fancy, but I'm also ready at any moment to talk about foreign policy. It's like a dress over pants. Pick one. It's like, it's, you can't layer them. It's like, if it gets too hot, am I going to take off the dress and still have a pantsuit? And those shoes do not match. What, what happened? I look like a starfish. Okay, here's another red carpet photo. Uh, the backdrop says Rock and Republic Fashion Show. But that corset says, thanks for having me at the Teen Stripper Awards. That is the most unflattering corset from the mall I've ever seen. And that necklace, that necklace looks like something that a millionaire would like drape over my neck, like in Moulin Rouge. There's more where this came from. Except for me, it's not a millionaire. It's like the salesman at Claire's. It's on sale. I think I still have that necklace actually. And look, I'm good. I'm glad I'm holding my tickets, my wristbands, and somebody's fucking demo CD in my hand. Could nobody hold those for me while I walked the red carpet? 
Really? I couldn't have just stashed them in that little purse that I'm like really making sure I hold up to be like, look at my accessory. Look at how it matches. I guess I had a habit of doing that. It's like, just stop. Don't hold up your cheap little purse just because it perfectly matches your tacky little tube top from Pacific Sunwear. Just stop. So as we're establishing, uh, red carpets are important because you want to look your best, you want to look stylish, and you want to make a good impression. So it's a good thing I wore these Elton John glasses at the Young Hollywood Awards. I look, I look like if Diane Keaton was 17 and was a cashier at Hot Topic with that ugly little black lacy dress and those Gosh damn sunglasses! It was at night! This event was at night! I specifically remember that the sun was not an issue! I wear my sunglasses at night so I can be a douchebag. Uh, I'm just gonna skip this one. What is that pose? What is- what is that pose? That's an un- that's an unnatural stance. <laughs> okay, and finally, alright, this- this next one actually makes me upset. Tim Curry. Legend amazing actor. Somebody that anyone, any of us would want a photo with. Well, I got one. Dressed like Eliza Thornberry. The ugliest I've ever been in my life. Ever. I mean, I was dressed like that for a reason. Like Nickelodeon sent me out there for the Wild Thornberry's movie premiere, dressed like Eliza, so that I could like interview celebrities. But I can't, like, explain that to everybody who sees that picture. They're just gonna be like, Oh, Lisa's with Tim Curry. What? Why is she- Why does she look like that? It's kind of like the time I was dressed as a showgirl when I got my picture with J.C. Chazé. Only, like, a thousand times worse. Okay, well, I actually have, like, a lot more photos that I wanted to talk about, but this video is probably already long enough. Uh, so if you guys enjoy this, let me know and I'll do a part two and- and destroy these other photos. Trust me, you want to see them. Maybe I don't want to show them to you, actually. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe and follow me on all the things. And, uh, I will leave you with one last red carpet photo. This one. This was at an animal charity event, and that is not my dog. I borrowed that dog and brought it to the event and said it was my dog, because I heard the other celebrities were bringing their dogs and I wanted to be cool. So let that sink in. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because you know my channel, it's pretty awesome. You wanna be part of this.